Hello everyone. In this video I will teach some basic free features of PG Sharp. Let's start. On the screen you will see the floating star button. That button is the main menu of our application. If we tap this there's a sub menu will show up. First, we will navigate the settings. Tap to walk. This feature is the best part of the app because after you tap on a location your character will auto walk by itself. You can also change the speed by tapping this button. Normal walking. Running. Biking. Or riding on vehicle. You can also adjust the speed on the settings. Tap to teleport. From the name itself it will teleport your character on the area you will tap. Nearby Radar This feature will show all the Pokemon that will be spawned on the area. It means that it will tell you where is the Pokemon will spawn before it will be shown on the screen. Here I'm trying to show Bellsprout but apparently Bellsprout is still not registered in my Pokédex on this account that is why the radar didn't take me there. At this time, I will target Bulbasaur.
hard to catch. So we will activate some features on settings. Just check the excellent in curveball and try to catch Bulbasaur again. At this time, catching is so easy. Next is Venusaur. But Venusaur is so tough to catch. One reason is my character level. Cooldown timer. This feature is the best on this app because it will protect your account from banning. The cooldown timer will take effect if you teleport from one country to other country. The maximum cooldown is 2 hours. If you are under a cooldown timer you can't spin pokestops, and all the Pokemon you're trying to catch will flee. Quick Sniper This feature is also the best on this app, because it will teleport you to a max IV level Pokemon. Note that you should reach level 30 to gain this feature, because if you are below 30 the probability to catch max IV Pokemon is random. Teleporting. You can select hot places and direct teleport on it, or you can copy and paste the coordinate of a place on the teleport menu. After teleporting cooldown timer will start. Hours or minutes depends on the distance you teleported. In the cooldown state you can't spin Pika stop or catch a Pokemon. Enable to catch a Pokemon again, or play on normal mode. 
the cooldown timer should be finished or back to zero. Maps. From the word itself, we'll show you geographical location, and you can use it for hatching egg, because you catch set your character to walk from a certain point to another point. Because of the auto walk feature, you can still catch Pokemon. Spin Pokestop like you're traveling in a vehicle. This is only free feature of the apps, but it's so very useful for me as of now. Hope you guys learn in my video.